The Squaw Peak Mountains provide a beautiful backdrop here for the three million or so people in 20 communities in the Valley of the Sun. It's America's fastest growing area and an appropriate spot for college football's fastest growing bowl game. 325 days of sun a year give the valley its name, and though it's been a colder than usual Fiesta Bowl week, the average annual temperature is 70 degrees, usually closer to the mid-60s during the winter months. Of course, being smack in the middle of the Sonoran Desert makes for summers where 105 degree readings are commonplace. Currently the ninth largest city in the United States, Phoenix is still growing. By the year 2000, almost four million people will call the Valley of the Sun home. And as the area has grown, its bowl game has become a giant in stature. There for a while, the rolls, cotton, sugar, orange had a lock on New Year's. And then the Fiesta broke through, which throws them into the same uh, magnitude. And uh, they've just become a number one bowl. That's all, of, all there is to it. Don Myers is the only member of the original Fiesta committee still active in the game. Back in 1968, uh, the former owner and operator of Camelback Inn, who was also from North Dakota, asked me to have breakfast with him. And we sat down and, and began to talk about the possibility of a bowl game in Phoenix. We then invited five other people to a meeting, and the seven of us began to plot as to how we could get a game certified for the Phoenix area. And then we made a presentation to the NC2A uh, for certification, and they turned us down the first year. Uh, the second time we made a pre presentation, uh, they agreed that we could have the game, provided we would guarantee each team $100,000. We went down to the uh, uh, one of the local banks, and we guaranteed $100,000 to each team, and that's how we got the game. Florida State kicked off the Fiesta Series 16 years ago with a thrilling game against Arizona State. Nebraska has been here before, too. In 1975, they lost to ASU, and in 86, they fell to Michigan. Friday's game promises to be another great one in the growing Fiesta tradition. Ken Tomas, Channel 6 Eyewitness Sports, at Fiesta Bowl Week in Tempe, Arizona.